Hey Jovenets, it's Coffee Tai. One of the most popular drinks during Christmas season is a peppermint mocha. So today I'm going to show you two methods of making a peppermint mocha. The first method will be using an espresso machine. For this method you'll need your espresso machine, some good coffee, your frothing cup with a little milk for frothing, some good water, a pot with about a cup of milk for boiling, a tablespoon to mix everything, some chocolate chips, peppermint essential oil, lavender essential oil, and a cup to house it all. If you don't have an espresso machine, the easiest method to make this peppermint mocha is changing out your frothing cup and milk for frothing for a method to boil water in a mason jar with an open lid. You don't need this part. And a paper towel or a filter. Basically what you're going to be doing here is creating a pour over. Start with your chocolate chips and essential oils and your milk. Go ahead and turn the heat up for the milk and add your chocolate chips. If you're not using the espresso machine method, Go ahead and boil your water. You want approximately four ounces. While the milk is heating up, open your mason jar and place your paper towel or your filter inside the mason jar and shut it in. Add your ground coffee and wait for everything to heat up. Coffee time! Why would you use a mason jar when you have a pour over? An excellent question. You can if you want to use your pour over method. The problem with this method is that not everybody has it, but most everyone has a mason jar, a paper towel, and some coffee. Remember that milk burns pretty easily, so constantly mix it. When you notice that the milk is hot enough for the chocolate to start to melt, turn it down to about medium to medium high. Basically what you're making here is chocolate milk. You could of course just use store-bought chocolate milk, just heat it up first. When you get a good color for your chocolate milk, turn down your heat to medium low. At this stage, go ahead and add five to seven drops of your peppermint oil. And one drop of lavender. And mix. Go ahead and take that off the heat. Let this cool while you work on the coffee. But coffee chai, why add lavender to your peppermint mocha? Well, that is an excellent question. Have you ever seen flavors or natural flavors listed on a product? Many times it's because they don't want you to know exactly how they made their product taste the way it does. So you don't copy it. The traditional peppermint mocha actually has lavender flavors hidden within. This is why most recipes don't even come close to copying it. It's a good thing you're a java nut. When your water is boiling, turn it off and start your pour over process. The idea here is to make an extremely concentrated cup of coffee. Pour slowly, you don't want to overflow. What you want is approximately four ounces of coffee, so this is perfect. I did not end up using all of the water that I boiled, but that's all right. Keep in mind, because we are using essentially a poor man's method of pour over it, it can get messy as you can see here it is dripping so just be prepared to wipe that off this will be extremely hot so just use care go ahead and open that up holding the paper towel expect to make a mess here be extra careful here you do not want to tear this up and drop grounds into your cup Grab your coffee and pour it into your cup. If you're using the espresso machine to froth your milk, go ahead and start that process. Now this part can get really messy, so I like to use a small pot with a spout for this. But it can still get really, really messy. So make sure you have a paper towel handy. Go ahead and mix this back into your milk. And carefully pour this into your pot. Now here we have the espresso, and here we have the coffee concentrate. And go ahead and pour some in here. And some in here. Add a little mess here, not too bad. Because we did froth the milk, go ahead and pour the froth into your espresso. 
and scoop some, but not a lot, of this milk into it. Quick stir here, quick stir here, and there you have it. On the left you have a peppermint mocha using an espresso machine and an espresso frother. On the right using a concentrated coffee. As you can see they do look different, but the taste is identical. The method you choose depends on the method you have. Now, I showed you these two methods to prove to you that even on a budget you can enjoy this Christmas time treat. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are sure to benefit. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. I read all of my comments and look forward to hearing what you think of this treat. See you next time.